What's up guys, I'm Michelle Abadi, professional Trans Am TA2 racer. And we're here at Insane Power doing some more work on Project Romero. If you haven't been watching, we are making my 2011 Chevy Camaro into the total ultimate streetcar. Today, we're here with Brett from Insane Power, and what are we working on? Today, we have Michelle's block up in the CNC. We're going to digitize it and start doing some of the machine work on her block. All right, so if you guys had watched our previous episodes, you know that I've never done anything like this with a CNC machine. So Brett's going to be teaching me and explaining all the things that we're doing today. Earlier today, I got the block up into the machine, and right now we're going to set the block up so the machine knows exactly where it is. So that's a digitizing probe. So we're going to shut this off. When this lights up, it takes a reading. So the first thing we're going to do is spin the block over. So we're going to bring over the probe, and we're going to touch off to the tail stock. So all this thing does is like it's gonna measure. reads. It's gonna take a reading. Okay, okay? cool. So it's gonna digitally take a reading of all these spots in the block. But first thing we need to tell it is where zero point is. So when we come down, touch it, a little red light comes on. If I turn this handle, it's gonna move it in different speeds, basically feeds. We're at 10, 10 thousandths of an inch, four decimal places over. So we're gonna turn the light off Click it on, be right there, off, on. That's 10 ten thousandths of an inch. Okay. Okay, we're gonna Z it, and now the machine knows that's Z zero. We're gonna bring our end cap over, screw this down. Sucks being short. <laughs> you got a little step, you're got all right. A step right there, <laughs> you're so. not using it, but yeah. it's there. Okay, we're all in now. Cool. Okay, so we're going to bring up a program. Okay, we're going to run and go to our menu. These are all my programs in here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put auto setup. So it's going to automatically set this up in the machine. We're going to start. It says we need tool one. Probe is tool one. Okay. We hit OK. Cycle start. Okay, it's going to tell us what it's going to do. Caution, this program will automatically set up work offsets. So that's basically telling the machine where the block is. Now we're going to start the program. Okay. It's like doing your laundry. Yeah, basically. <laughs> they got the cycle and the yeah. load. <laughs> so the machine's going to come down. It's going to find the center of the bar. And it's going to take a reading. If you want me to move, I don't know. So this is going to find the Y center line of the block. Okay. So it's going to come down, find its point. And one more time. Is it moving right now? Yes, it is. Really slow, yeah. Yeah, very, very slow. Okay. Now it's going to lift up. It's going to rotate the block. It's going to find in the cam tunnel. And now the block is going to be completely straight up and down. So that was the Y dimension. Now it's going to find the X dimension. Every block has what's called a datum point. That little hole right there, the center of that hole, all the dimensions for that block are given off that point. Oh, wow, okay. So now the machine knows exactly where that block is. So now our next program, we're going to go to menu. We're gonna digitize the block to find how far it's off from the factory print. Approximate bore for Michelle's block is 4.065. Enter, slide down, and now we're gonna digitize the block. Cool. So since this block has been touched before. We're gonna find out how much it's off. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
So if that probe gets hit too hard, like, does it break your machine? Yeah, no, it's porcelain. It's designed to break off and you can screw a new one on. Oh, okay. So you try not to do that. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. It does happen, yes. Yeah. yeah so. I'm not going to say that I haven't had mornings right. you know, didn't have the full coffee in me. So. First cup of coffee, man, yeah. Man! So, right. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> First time I called you, and it was like 7.30 or 8 o'clock, and I was trying to get on the dyno, you know, and yeah. like you answered the phone, and I was like, hello? I was like, is this insane power? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're like, yeah, what, what's going on? I'm like, are, are you open? Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, well, not really, but yeah. what did you need? Yeah. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I was just, my mind was blown. I was like, oh my God, yeah. someone's working after hours. Yeah. I never really have a life, so I don't go anywhere. So when your hobby is your job, you're kind of always here. Yeah, so. now if you're not here, I worry about you. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, are you alive? So does my mother. Yeah. <laughs> now that we have the data, we're going to take it. Okay. And the machine is going to give us a comparison between this is what it should be on the print. That's what it actually is. So, okay. Michelle, we're approximate, it's off about six thousandths. It's pretty consistent, about six thousandths down the line. Some are even closer. In the Y, it's two thousandths, two ten, ten thousandths of an inch, two thousandths, four thousandths. The block's in really good shape. Cool. Okay? Awesome. So, no one has bested up for us yet. Okay? <laughs> so, the deck heights is 9.2354 is the lowest, and the highest seems to be 9242. Okay. So, we're gonna just skim it all the way down and make a nice new cut so we know it's perfectly parallel to the main line. Awesome. Okay? Cool. So, but it's pretty straight across, pretty simple. Block's in really good shape. See, it's 4070. I took it out 5,000s, just roughed it in so we could see where we could get pistons, and we're gonna finish at a 4075. Got it. Okay? Cool. So, let's get back out of this screen. Let's take the probe out. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Quick I'm, release. I'm going to call it up a different tool. So, so I'm going to use an M code, M06. We're going to put tool 10 in, which is a surfacer. We're going to hit the button. Okay. Normally, I have tools in the carousel that will automatically change it. Uh, but I have all the tools out because we were done for the day. So we're going to manually load the tool in. We're going to put this big old sucker in there. What is that called? It's a big fly cutter. Okay. We're going to surface the block with it. Okay. Oh, yep. Oh. You got my short guy stool. Yeah. It's okay. Being tall is not all that great sometimes. I'd like to try it for myself. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. <laughs> Most of the time it's pretty awesome. Yeah. But <laughs> I never hit my head, so it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna bring up another program. We're gonna bring up another run our menu. And this is for V8 blocks. So we're gonna bring up program number 10. Funny that we also need tool number 10. Right. Okay, it says input the deck height you want from the finished center line of the crankshaft. We're going to go 9.232, okay? The height of the deck height now is 9.242, okay? And we're going to do that in two steps, okay? Okay, we're going to shut our little screen here a little bit. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Don't do this at home. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Michelle, see, it already made the adjustment because we're going to make two passes. Okay. The cutter is traveling at 3,200 feet per second on the tips and 2,500 RPM. I was going to say, how many yeah. RPM? Yeah. It's taking off roughly about a piece of paper, thickness okay. of a piece of paper. As you can see, yeah. it's not wise to leave the doors open. <laughs> Just for filming. Yeah, only oh, only for YouTube, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god, this shit like flying out. It's gonna make one pass. I'm surprised it lets you do it with the door open. I, I made it. <laughs> it takes that early. You're like, yeah. 
I got tape over it. Yep, yeah, there you go. So it's going to make another pass. And it doesn't have to spray any lube or anything no, to do we're, that? we're cutting this dry. This is aluminum. Normally, I would run coolant. Yeah. Um, but for filming purposes, yeah. it makes a mess. I can't <laughs> leave the door open. So. Well, we appreciate you allowing us to make a mess. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you guys are welcome. <laughs> okay, so see how that's our finished deck height, 9232. Yep, okay. okay. Did you just, like, remember that? How did you know? How did you know? <laughs> What's it make it? Because I took the data we had on the other page, and I went 3,000 <laughs> below that. I'm so. just like, you remembered? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, so. that's a big deal for, for me. Yeah. I don't remember. Remember it? Yeah. Out. How do you remember where to find you in a course? Well, it doesn't change, it doesn't change. <laughs> so it's always the so same. as you can see, we have a nice, beautiful oh, yeah. new surface. All right. Yeah, making laps is easy. It's always the same. Well, I'm making laps. <laughs> okay, yeah, perfect. So, yeah. Same thing. <coughs> okay folks, as you can see now from our finished product, we have a perfect 45 degree deck to crank to cam angle. We have a beautiful new finish, perfect for our MLS gases we'll be putting on this. Now, as you can see, these cylinders have been honed. I rough honed the cylinders in to figure out what we needed for a piston size so I could send it off to CP so they could make us a set of pistons. Let's go over and check out the hone. All right, uh, so now we're over here. I, what is this called? Okay, this, we're on a cylinder hone. I explained to you on the CNC that I already rough honed your cylinders. Right. Okay? This is another block, same 6.2 version as what you have. We're going to use as display, okay? Cool. Um, Factory bore size on an LS3 is 4065, okay? Well, your motor had already been played with by somebody else, wasn't sure, so what I did is I put a torque plate on it like this, simulating the head being bolted on it. Right. So we have the same forces being bolted on the block as, as it runs. So they, when it does that, it, it makes the cylinder not quite as round. Okay. A little out of shape. So yeah. we want to make it so when it's all together running, it's as perfect as we can make it. Got it. So we simulate this with a torque plate. So you torque these down the torque same, as, same you as, as you would the head. Okay. okay. Yep. Um, this particular motor is using factory bolts, so I use a factory bolt. Your motor, when I did it, I used head studs because your motor is going to have studs in it. Right. Okay. But for display, okay, yeah. so we can show everybody, the torque plate is held down. We have a honing head with two guides and some roughing stones. So what I do is I'm going to go inside here. Okay, I'm going to lo load it into the cylinder. Yep. We're going to, this crown up here puts pressure on it. So it's pushing it out, it's right? pushing the stones out. Okay. I'm going to turn the machine on. Yep. And we're going to slowly check, make sure we don't hit it on the bottom. And we're going to hold a little bit. Okay? Yep. The, this is honing oil, which stinks. That's not me. <laughs> This gauge is set up on a factory size, so we can see how bad it is. Okay. So what I do is I rough them in and determine what size piston will fit in this block. Right. Once that's determined, we order the pistons either off the shelf piston or a custom piston like yours, and we give them the finished bore size. We won't finish the blocks until we have the pistons in hand. Each piston will be measured and the cylinders will be all fitted to each piston. Okay. Okay? Yep. But for purposes right now, this thing cleaned up pretty good, so a 4070 will be the next piston size. As long as all eight clean up that way, yeah. we'll be looking pretty good. So when you say it's clean, it's because, like, this is black-ish, right? And you've just scuffed all that up? Yeah, so okay. cylinders after a while being run have to get glazed. Yep. Okay, we're putting back in a crosshatch. Crosshatch is the cutting padding left by the stones in there. Right, okay. Um, the speed of the machine spinning and going up and down sets that angle. Okay. Okay. That angle determines how much oil is left on the cylinder and how fast the rings are spinning. Okay. Yep. We want to have just enough oil to make it lubricated, but not enough where it won't seal the ring. Okay. The different scratches in the cylinder, depth and finish determine how the ring breaks in. So okay. is there like different stones that okay, you can yeah. get? Okay, yeah. So these are roughing stones. Then we'll have a finishing stone here, 
once they get the pistons okay. in our final size. And then we'll do what's called plateau honing on some blocks. And these are diamond impregnated oh, wow. brushes. Okay. The brushes just make the finish on it. Got they it. They don't take any material out, but it does put a certain finish. It takes the high and low spots and evens them out. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's what I've already done to your block. So we're ordering a 4075 for yours. Perfect. Okay. From CP. Yep. From CP Pistons. Awesome. Okay. So they're making the pistons now. We've got the block decked. Next step, we'll put the main studs in the bottom and we'll start line honing the block. Awesome. Cool. Right. Well, there you have it, you guys. I learned a ton. Um, we, uh, we're just cruising on through this build, which has yeah. been pretty cool. I know you guys uh, missed Brett on the last one. So if you guys have any questions for him, be sure to post them below and I'll relay them to him. Um, I don't think we've seen that many questions yet because I think you answer you definitely answer all my questions, that's for sure. I was in episode six, but Anthony wouldn't put the camera low enough, so nobody saw me. <laughs> so that is a lie. I was there. Nobody saw me. <laughs> definitely. Brent's always here. so yeah, I'm always here. <laughs> Whatever we say might not be true. Check us out on episode seven, and we'll do some more machine work. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And then if you want to watch the previous episode to this one, you can click right over here. And lastly, for more awesome content from the Gur Racing team, just click down here and we'll see you guys on the next one.